Most ATV manufacturers use the red high strength thread locker, also known as Loctite, which is much stronger than the blue medium strength that you're probably more familiar with. Generally, the parts are impossible to remove without first heating them with a torch. The previous owner did not put a bash plate on the bottom and ended up hitting a rock and bending the rotor. If you're working with a different ATV, first determine whether the threads are normal or reverse thread. I used an ordinary propane torch to heat each bolt hole for about 30 to 45 seconds before removing the Allen bolt. It's a good idea to remove the caliper so it doesn't get damaged by heat. You could also remove the wheel spindle and do the whole project on the bench, but I think it saves time to do it on the ATV. If the Allen bolts are already damaged, then just use vice grips around the edges to unscrew them. And remember, when you've used enough heat, the Allen bolts will unscrew with very little effort. If you're still having trouble, apply more heat. After you remove the Allen bolts, wire brush the threads and carefully check for damage. When you reassemble, consider using the blue medium strength Loctite instead. The last thing I did was take an ordinary hammer and knock out this stud, which I plan to replace.